Hi, Colin Lay here, Chief Lawyer Human at Lay Roots. And I want to talk to you about confidential letters of exclusion, what they are, and do you need one? So we do a lot of uh, educational classes here at Lay Roots. We're on a mission to educate parents on how to make great legal decisions and keep their families out of court and out of conflict. So um, we often teach parents about guardians, how to name guardians, why it's important, how to do it. And part of that process is thinking about whether there is anybody who you would not want to raise your children if anything happened to you. Because if you have minor children, hopefully you have named uh, both long-term and short-term guardians. But the truth of the matter is, if there is somebody who might step forward and uh, want to challenge your decisions on who should be guardians, they might have the opportunity to do so. Because really it comes down to a judge. Um, so a judge is gonna follow your requests um, based on your guardianship documents unless there's good cause that the guardians you chose shouldn't be appointed. So you might have a, you know, a crazy Aunt Sally who comes forward and says, hey, hold on a second. You know, um, uh, my niece appointed her friend to be the guardian of her kids, and, you know, I think that's a terrible idea. These kids should stay with their family. Now, that if you've chosen your guardians, you know, if you've gone through the, our, our three-step process where you choose the, the perfect guardian for your kids who, you know, have the same values as you and who are basically going to do the job that you want to do um, as guardians, you're not going to want that person to serve as guardians. And if there's specific reasons why you don't want a certain person to be a guardian of your children, um, you should put those reasons down in writing. So that would be a, a confidential letter of exclusion. Now, a lot of people, uh, when we tell them about this, they say, well, you know what, I don't feel great about writing that letter because I don't want them to see it. You know, I'd feel terrible if, you know, they, they knew all these reasons of why I didn't want them to look after my kids if something happened to me. But that's the thing, it's a confidential letter. So nobody's gonna see it unless that person challenges your guardianship appointment in court. So basically you'd write the letter, you'd seal it, it'd stay sealed. The only time it would come out is if that person challenged your, your guardianship decision, that letter would go to a judge, they would have the opportunity to open that letter and look at all the reasons why you didn't want uh, that person to be guardian. Chances are uh, that person is also not going to want that letter to come out and be public record for whatever reason it is that you didn't want them to look after your kids. So yeah, the confidential letter of exclusion is a good uh, means to make sure that somebody that you don't want raising your kids never has the opportunity to do so if uh, the situation arises uh, for you. So if you have any questions, uh, please let us know, email us, call us. If you have any questions about estate planning or keeping your family out of court, out of conflict, um, maybe we can answer your question in another video. Uh, send them your questions to us at support at layroots.com. And again, thank you for watching.